Dom Link, it's your boy Ink. Welcome to another review, another uh, video. This is Meat Canyon Halloween 2023 special. So, yeah, like I said in my video shouting out Meat Canyon, uh, this is technically the only reason, like, the only, like, video that was up for Halloween. I like, fuck it, let's do it. Um, I, Again, I'm not super familiar with, with Meat Canyon because it's kind of scary. I do like the animation that um, King of Mouth Megan, I at least watched it seven times. So I do like the guy, but I never saw some of this these video. So the first one is Gumball. I'm not familiar with Gumball, but here it was... I'm not familiar with this show. Um, so for me, it's kind of harder to, to relate to that. But it was super creepy. You had the Gumball, which is like the boss. You had Benjamin and the bird. I don't even know the bird name. But he was acting super creepy. And what I did like is the bird. The, the Gumball was kind of like their boss. I like, think like a creepy boss, like, oh, you're going to get some candy, you're going to get some new work, you're doing so good, keep doing like that, you're going to get more, you're going to get more. So again, super creepy. What I really enjoyed was that the bird was getting, you thought the bird was creepy, but then when he saw Benjamin, and Benjamin was way worse, and he's like, holy shit, this guy's a creep. And it's 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 fun because, again, the animation is super cool. Uh, it makes you feel uncomfortable. It takes you places you don't want to go. But every single video shouldn't take you to a place you want to go, right? So again, not super familiar with that, but still. Next was Garfield. I'm actually familiar with Garfield. This is something I can relate to more. So we had uh, Jerry, which was the main character. And it's kind of cool because they redid the face. And we, we know that, that uh, Meat Canyon has a specific type of drawing. It's kind of cool that we saw this uh, Garfield the way it was supposed to be. And uh, it's, it's even more cool that... When it was inside the house, it came to me and Tanya, and we, we noticed that uh, Garfield was actually a human, and that Jerry was completely insane. The dog, when there's a dog in the show, uh, is a human. And it, it's kind of cool, because if you look at the underling, if you look at the nose in between, uh, the fact that Steve, which again is the main character, um, not Steve, I forgot the name. Uh, I watched the video this morning, sorry. But you, you notice that this guy is... Uh, is changing face, so he has this reality that he's presenting, this reality that he's seeing, and the pet is, is a human that has to act like a cat because, again, he's a prisoner. Yeah, the dog was acting like a cat because, uh, like a, it's a human acting like a dog because he's a prisoner. Uh, Jerry, sorry, Jerry, has a uh, trap door full of people and he has to feed them, and you're, you're hearing the entire time. You're seeing Jerry. Um, it, it, it's kind of cool because you, you got this very scary um, situation where you got people that are completely hostage. And you're like, holy shit, what the fuck is that, right? And then you have the uh, the situation where uh, he's talking and you can tell the guy he's on inch, he's crazy. So there's this double it's scary. And you're like, holy shit, this guy completely nuts and there's a lot of victim. Right? Which is kind of cool. And my little issue with this video, my only issue was the girl was normal. So which one, which world is really normal? Is it the Mean Canyon version or the original version? We never know. Next on the, the list, we have Markiplier. Uh, it's kind of cool because when this video was out, it was a long time ago. But the, the Friday Night Night at Freddy it just came out yesterday, uh, Friday. Got a video like, oh, yo, uh, got Mark, he's doing these uh, video Mark. I found out that Freddy was big for him. So we're seeing Mark as this fool of himself. He's doing... Um, it's actually pretty cool. Thinking about milk. I don't know the milk story. I, I didn't watch a lot of Mark Blyer, to be quite honest. Uh, I didn't have Wi-Fi when it was uh, something I would be interested in. Uh, Mark, what I know is when I saw that, I was like, oh, there's no way he didn't, he didn't react to this. So I saw Mark's reaction, and Mark was actually super down with it. He made the voice... Uh, it's something creepy, but not so creepy. Uh, it's kind of cool because, again, you're seeing Markiplier. There's these costume. There's these uh, phrase that he says. There's these, for example, in Inside Jokes, yeah. And at the end, we got an amazing, amazing animation of Markiplier. So, uh, Papa Meat outdid himself. I think he made, he put some more effort because Pop Markiplier is a bigger thing than Garfield. So, of course, he's going to put more effort in there, but it's phenomenal. It's on the left, we have Pinocchio. Pinocchio was scary as fuck. As scary as fuck, dude. Just the graphics, the way Pinocchio was a a, a doll and he was screaming. Well, not screaming, but in distress and says, Daddy, Daddy, am I a real boy? Mm. So, 
unfamiliar with Pinocchio, but a guy who creates a doll, and the doll wants to be a real boy. It's alive, right? There's this cricket, Jiminy Cricket, right? And this one, uh, the guy, uh, Gepetto, he actually kidnaps uh, a kid. We see the father come to his kid and say, I know you took him. And the graphics, again, are amazing. The fighting is crazy. And then Pinocchio eats his own father, so you know he's, own, he's not a kid anymore. And then he's fighting for, for Gepetto. And what is kind of cool, what is really cool, actually, about this video, you got Gepetto, who's like a spell, and he's reciting the spell, what went wrong, what went wrong, what went wrong. And it's kind of cool because he wanted that, and then it happened. So it's kind of like he's guilty, and he's afraid. And you feel that he's afraid, and you feel his fear. So it was really cool to see that. Right, we got Steve Harvey, and again, I talked about that in the shout video, um, about Steve Harvey and his show, how there's a, uh, <laughs> how he's using the stare too much, and how he's going on to a different direction, dimension, and it's kind of cool because, um, this is like a, ugh, me, I'm reading it too much into it, when you do watch Family Food with Steve Harvey, uh, and he make the stairs, the camera goes on him, it, it focuses on him. And you don't see the rest of the world. You only see Steve Harvey in the stair. Right? This is the world. And it's like it's taking to another a dimension. And there's a uh, there's a lot of people that are bells. right? Because you're hearing ding, ding, ding. right? And the, the look at me, Steve. Look at me. And you have the happy faces that are turning into face of torment. And then we have the answer. And Steve is coming back to reality. The old, the old gravity. Oh, they all mad at me. In the night, da, da, da. No, 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 whoa, whoa, if you got one shot, not with a chance to go, one time, moving on, and again, yeah, so, Steve RV, that's there, again, it's a more of a critic of the fact that he can only use a stair and everybody's gonna scream and be funny, and now there's sketchy joke, there's perv joke, it's kind of odd, but hey, we got the, um, we got the Bob the Builder, Bob the Builder was crazy, uh, it's, I'm not sure if it was in Japan, or in uh, China, but it was like this house was destroyed, and then we had Bob the Builder who wanted to fix it, and then um, Bob the Builder eventually, at the mean cannon sauce, uh, became a monster, and he took his uh, the wife of the guy, and it's like, why take my wife? And uh, Bob the Builder's like, the man, I cannot take care of his home with him. Doesn't cannot take care of his loved one. So they took him as that, and it's kind of like it's more sad than horror. Because again, you're seeing, yes, you're seeing the uh, Bob the Builder move. It's kind of scary, right? But all in all, what's scarier is that, what is sadder is the guy destroyed things in his house all along. This is the Bob the Builder to come and bring him back his wife. It's actually pretty sad, and the way it's drawn is nicer. But the story here is the first video where I'm like, okay, the story is really good. Right? Uh, we got the, uh, the Sunrise. Sunrise was insane. Sunrise is probably one of my favorites. Uh, it's about Teddy Tobies, and it doesn't talk. There's always a, dis a like a script. There's always some people talking, and Papa Guts, and me can sorry, Papa Guts, uh, me can videos, right? Mm, that was delicious. And um, in this one, there's nobody that's talking. So I can wait you not sure about what's going on. There's the these people, they're they're cannibals, like a cult. They're sacrificing somebody, and then there's a sun sun door that opens. And you're, you're putting on costume, and then you realize it's the Tubbies, and they're worshipping the sun. And you're seeing that it's kind of fucking creepy, dude. Because, again, they're not talking, and sometimes science is it's worth more than, like, noises, right? And it's kind of nuts because, again, it's it's something I'm really familiar with. And uh, uh, they're worshipping the sun, and you're like, holy shit. This is fucked up. This is another dimension. This is another world. But it's all in, in uh, Mid Canyon mind. We got uh, the Ronald McDonald, uh, where it's kind of creepy. He's like, uh, in the first part of the video, again, it's amazing. Uh, Ronald McDonald, who's on Inch, and he's like, oh, have you tried this product? Have you tried this product? And when the people they don't try this product, it's like, why don't you try this product? So he kidnaps them, and he drugs them, and he's like, yo, you're going to try this product. And then he torture them. And it's kind of cool because we see Grimace and Papa, uh, Mid Canyons. Um, I released a video when uh, the Grimace shake was super, super fucking popular. So again, something super cool, something we appreciate, something we enjoy. Uh, we have that. We have, again, um, we have the toilet. The toilet was a bit weird. About this guy who was afraid to go to the toilet. And then it's kind of cool because the fear to go to the toilet, which is a fear we all had as a kid. And then during the video, you realize that this fear is... Um, 
unrealistic. It's not possible. It's not normal to have this fear. You shouldn't be having this fear. And then, when he finally goes, you realize that this fear was something real. Like, there's really people that wanted, wanted him to, to see, to notice, to for him to bless the public bathroom, to share his poop wealth. So it's kind of nuts, but again, it's kind of cool because we all have those, we all had that, um, that fear of it as a kid and how uh, that fear of public toilets and how people can see you. And then you, when you grow up, you realize that there's this fear. It's completely nonsensical. So this really came to get me. There's this Bazinga, which is basically a Sheldon from the Big Theory. And it's also a critic on the show how Sheldon is the only one that is kind of funny. So in this kit, we got Sheldon, which is, again, um, I don't know the name of the actor, sorry. But he's this guy who's the only one that's funny. So he's constantly talking and talking and talking and talking. Then you see the, the person who then me challenge, she becomes a victim and she goes like this. And oh, it's it's kind of scary because again, uh, Sheldon me telling is kind of spooky. Sheldon isn't spooky. It's what's going on at spooky, right? Um, next we have the Starbucks, which is a pumpkin spice uh, that was released not too long ago. We all know we go crazy for pumpkin spice. Your boy is a victim too. But how this show that oh, and it shows like this busy valley girl who's talking like a valley girl. And she's dressed up all hipster, and uh, she wants like a, a pumpkin spice, and then she come back, and then she come back. But the shining star here is the is the way she transforms herself. She's really transforming into a pumpkin, right? And uh, they become like addictive, addictive, addictive. And the best part about this is when the Starbucks employees like, man, I don't think I could serve you. I don't feel right serving you. You're addicted. Well, she doesn't say you're addicted, but she's like, and you can see the pumpkin. There's the face beneath. You can see it shed a tear, so you're like, holy shit, that was, that was super sad. I want to give a shout out to one of the moments I wanted to talk about, especially, I took very minimal notes, because uh, I was putting them on my, my phone, right? So, it, this, this the pumpkin wants to talk, but it cannot talk. Then you take a knife and carve itself. I thought it was fucking ingenious, fucking brilliant. And from the list, we have the Smash Bros. Champ, and what is kind of cool here is the two people playing in the beginning of the tournament, right, are people that are real. They're, they're this guy who's wearing a fox hat. You know, the Super Smash Bros. champion. We got the Super Smash Bros. Who, uh, it, there's this guy talking about experience, how he used to be a gamer and how he stank. Because he stank, somebody came to his house and tortured him and ate his stank. So he's trying to warn a child. And that child's like, nah, man, you crazy. And then you realize that it's something that happened. The creature, again, super fucking scary. The fact that it shoves some worm into his mouth. And he can transform it. And it picks it up. And the guy has to be tied up. And he's watching the scene. It's kind of spooky and fucking unrealistic. But still, it comes and gets to you. And that's on the list. We have Blue. How uh, Blue was a show when I was a kid. I didn't watch. Um, and it was about this guy who always had to find Clue. And he was always, always on the on the go for clues, and it's <clears throat> it's kind of cool because <laughs> I have to say it's kind of cool. I have to stop saying that. I'm saying that too much because again, um, they're constantly bugging him. The letters are bugging him. The the fucking appliances are bugging him, and we know it wasn't real. <sighs> and at the end of this kid, the guy he got back to reality, and he's just killed his dog because his dog was not blue. And coming back to a, a reality where he's all imagined that, but he still hurt his dog. So, again, an amazing video. Uh, I thought it was super fucking good. Um, again, I'm not super versed into um, some of the me Canyon um, topics, but I was versed on not a lot. I was versed on uh, Garfield, Mark, Pinocchio, Steve Harvey, Bob the Builder, Sunrise, Ronald McDonald, uh, Bazinga. And that's it. Seven out of eleven, right? It's more a bit more than half, but still. As always, I love you guys. Take it easy. Peace.